Welcome to video number five in this series where we construct the ultimate artificial intelligence operating system. And we do it all locally. And we make sure it's all open source, uncensored, and we're not sending any of your data to big tech. That's right. If you're following along, you can build an incredible artificial intelligence operating system. And when it's done, you don't even need a GPU. And oh yeah, you don't even need internet connectivity to run all these awesome utilities. So your privacy is guaranteed and no more getting censored by big tech tech. All right, guys, if you haven't been following along so far, I highly recommend you watching this playlist from the first video where we get a fresh install of Linux Mint 22 Wilma going, get you patched up, install all of those prereqs, and we get you rolling with some amazing AI tools. So check that out if you haven't done so already. But today we are going to look at Koki TTS, and I'm going to show you how we can have a ton of fun with a local text to speech utility. And also, we're going to learn a little bit about Docker today. So let's jump right in, guys. All right, go ahead and fire up a terminal. First thing we're going to have to do here is install Docker. If you're not familiar with Docker, it's an amazing utility. So do a sudo apt install docker.io. Go ahead and supply your password for that sudo. Say yes when prompted, and this will install Docker for you. Now, Docker is a amazing way to run applications inside of a container. That's putting it extremely simple, oversimplifying things, but this is not a lesson on Docker. It's kind of a example and just an introduction to Docker. So again, people build these Docker images, they share them out in the community, and then we're allowed to go in there and pull down these Docker images and run them right here locally on our PCs. All right, next up, you're going to do a sudo docker run dash it dash p. That's for the port 5002 colon 5002 dash dash entry point forward slash bin forward slash bash ghcr dot io forward slash koki dash ai forward slash tts hyphen cpu. Unable to find it locally, so now it's going to pull that image down. This takes some time, so I did fast forward this quite a bit. But just to uh, tack on to that, so Docker is an amazing application. If you guys are not familiar with it, I highly recommend you doing a little more research. Uh, my buddy Chris over at Cheryl Technology, he does some videos to give you a high level intro into Docker and some informational videos on that as well. So check him out. All right, now you actually have the Docker running and you're inside of the Docker. So next thing you need to do is tell it what to do. So you're going to do Python 3 space TTS forward slash servers forward slash server dot pi space dash dash model underscore name space TTS underscore models forward slash en forward slash VCTK forward slash VITS. And that's telling it to start the server dot pi app with a specific model. And later on, I'll show you all the different model names and talk about how we can change that model name when it launches. Now, the first time you launch this with any new model that you haven't launched it with before, it will have to download that model. So just to tack onto this info a little bit, the 5002 colon 5002 that we passed the Docker parameter there. Those are the ports that we define. So the Docker container itself is running on 5002. And then it's also exposed to the uh, PC or the OS itself. So it's running a web UI. So that's also running on 5002. And we define that when we spun up that Docker image. All right, this is all ready to go. So hold down control and just click on the link there in that terminal. Otherwise, you can open a browser and just type localhost colon 5002 and you'll get this nice little Koki TTS UI. Let me go ahead and turn my volume up here, and I actually muted myself during this demo, so we'll see that the uh, first attempt at this is a complete failure. <laughs> That's my bad. It actually works, you just can't hear it, because uh, Dum Dum over here put the Linux Mint VM on mute, so I'm trying to figure out, hey, why can't I hear anything? All right, cutting to where I realized I was on mute there, or the VM was. <laughs> Let me crank the volume up, and uh, we'll see if this can synthesize the speech. This is a quick test. There we go. If you choose a different speaker, you do have to hit speak again. If you just hit play, it's going to uh, play. The this previous. is a quick test. So we can do different things here. We can change the speed. Um, we can download it. We can put it in a loop. All kinds of cool stuff right from this web UI. And this is one model, the one that we loaded the Docker image with. All right. So if we restart the VM now, I want to show you guys that by default, this isn't running. So obviously, we want to make this as simple as possible because that's the goal of this whole playlist is to have an amazing Linux Mint operating system, or if you're following along on a different distro, just an amazing operating system with AI tools at your disposal. They're easy to use. We don't have to get in the command line every time we run those. So if we go back to our terminal and we do a command to list our Docker images, which is going to be sudo docker ps. Anytime you guys are using Docker, you're usually going to have to pass sudo. Uh, you can get around that, but for this demonstration, just know that we're going to be using sudo when we interact with Docker. So again, 
sudo docker ps and that's going to list all of our docker instances all right so you see nothing is going on here so we're going to go back and we're going to modify the way that we spin up that docker image to make sure that it's just running no matter what unless we actually close it intentionally and what that'll do is allow us to uh, reboot the os and still have that running for obvious reasons. All right, so I'm gonna paste in a command here. We can take a look at that. It's uh, sudo docker run forward slash D forward slash P. So similar to the other one, notice the parameter here, dash dash restart unless stop. And then we do the entry point and we define the model and all that good stuff. So this time, if we reboot the PC, this should still be running when we spin up or when we look again with a uh, sudo docker PS again. All right, so we do see it's running now, obviously because we just started it and we can go ahead and test it again by firing up that web UI. I'll do it manually this time. So open any browser and go to localhost colon 5002 because that's the port that we designated for this Docker image. And I'm actually typing one handed here. So it's extremely slow. I was holding my daughter at the time of uh, filming this portion of the demo. So yes, we see that it does work. We have our Koki TTS web UI again. We can close this out. And like I said, if we reboot the PC now, hopefully this all worked and we'll have our Docker image running when we come back. All right, so we are back in the OS now. Let's take a look. We'll do that same command again here. We'll do a sudo docker ps, type in those creds, and we do see that docker image is running on port 5002. Now it has a container ID and it has a name, and if you need to interact with these directly, you're gonna reference either the container ID or the name. We'll take a look at that just a second here uh, towards the end of the video. All right, so like I said, it's working. We fired up a browser, localhost 5002, and what do you know? We've got Koki TTS. So let's take it a step further now. Let's make a bookmark for this, and then we can take this bookmark, rename it to whatever we want, and then we can drag that onto the desktop. So now anytime we reboot the PC or, or anything, right? Close, close TTS uh, as far as the web UI goes, we have it running automatically upon boot. And now we have a shortcut to get to it right on the desktop. So I'm just going to rename it to TTS underscore Koki. And anytime we need to use our TTS utility, just double click the icon on the desktop. There you go, there's your easy button. All right, so we will reboot just to do one more sanity check, make sure it's running when we boot up and make sure our icon on the desktop is working. All right, we are logged back in. You do wanna give it a minute guys for that Docker to get fully loaded up. Uh, worst case, you launch the web browser or, you know, double click the TTS Koki icon and it'll open up and say page not found or something like that. Just give it a minute and refresh and you'll have Koki TTS. So just keep that in mind. If you boot up and immediately try to launch that, the Docker image may need a second to load up. All right, so one more thing I want to show you here is how to interact with that Docker image should you need to make some modifications or customize or just get info out of that instance. So do a sudo docker ps and that'll give you all of your images that are running or all the images on this device. Uh, we only have one right now, so just note the container ID and or the name of that Docker image. I'm gonna use the container ID, and then I'm gonna run a sudo docker exec dash it, pass it the instance ID, and we'll run a Python command, python3 tts server, server pi, space dash dash list models. So that'll list out all those different voice models. Your uh, vocoders are on the bottom, but the actual voice models are on the top. There's 70 of them. So if you wanted to load this with a different model, you would just copy that model that you wanna load it with. These are different languages, different speakers, things like that. And then you could run that initial Docker command that we launched Docker with and had it persistently running all the time and just replace the model name portion with the model that you now want to launch it with. So if we paste in our initial command, you see there the end of that line has model name and then TTS models, EN, VCTK, VITS. So that last part there starting at TTS underscore models, you would just replace that with the model name that you wanna run. And if you wanted multiples, you could run this again and say, hey, 
run this one on port 5003 and maybe you want another uh, voice or a different model to run on 5004 and so on and so forth. So you could have a whole bunch of these and then you could create shortcut icons and make them all persistent. So you could have five, 10, 15 different voices. I think you get the point here and they'd all run simultaneously. So you don't have to go back and modify that Docker image each time. Now this was just one uh, way to do TTS or text to speech on this series of open source artificial intelligence, but I may do some more there are some other cool tools out there. Uh, I had some issues getting other ones to work perfectly the way I wanted them to. They were a little bit fidgety to say the least. You had to go in there and do some things, but I'll continue to work on that. Uh, I think coming up next, I'll be looking into music generation, maybe something like audio craft or an alternative. I want to do some lip syncing where you can load a picture and have it talk something like sad talker. Again, I'll also look into alternatives. And if you guys are wondering like how come I'm not using something like Pinocchio to get these things running, I did try that. I may revisit it, but when you're not using a GPU, there are some issues like the baked in commands they call CUDA to run things and it just doesn't see a GPU in some instances and there's conflicts. And again, I might revisit that to see if I can streamline it and make it really easy. But I also wanted to focus on the direct installation of these things. Uh, I know we use Docker in this case, but I do think that's also a good opportunity to introduce Docker to you guys. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, check out Chris Sherrill. He's over at Sherrill Technology. He's doing a series on Docker. He starts from the very beginning, gives you guys an intro to Docker. So I'll be following along with that. And I encourage you guys to do so as well. I may do my own series on Docker at some point just because it's fascinating and I want to learn more about it. But as you saw today, it's a very easy way to spin up a application or an instance of Docker and get that working and containerize it right here locally on your computer. So yeah, those are a few things that may be coming up soon on this series. Let me know what you guys think though. So far, are you liking this series? What else do you wanna see? What types of open source AI technology are you looking to learn about? I know we're using Jan AI today for the large language models, the chatbot type thing, a chat GPT replacement. I think I'm also gonna tap into Olama at some point. And I'm, I'm gonna go deeper on those guys, don't worry. I know it was a, an intro, how to get it running, install a couple LLMs. I will go deeper on those, I promise you that. We'll install multiple models. We'll look at things like running multiple models simultaneously. I plan on doing a video just dedicated to APIs for this. So we'll tap into closed source APIs, do a demo on that. If you guys are interested in having the capability to still use the uh, public chat GPT type of applications from your local LLM ultimate operating system. Also interacting from custom made applications to things like uh, Olama and Jan AI. So I plan on covering that quite a bit in the future here. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm looking for feedback guys. Let me know what you think so far. And what are you most excited about learning that either I've already covered and you'd like to see a variation of it or something that maybe I haven't covered yet? Are there other AI technologies that you guys are interested in seeing? Uh, if so, please do leave me a comment and let me know. And if you haven't done so, guys, I'd really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. It really helps out a lot and I appreciate your support. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's getting long, so I'm going to cut it now. Have a great day. And until the next one, everybody take care.